You want to win all the gift cards down below? Well, all you got to do is hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, leave a comment down below, and enjoy the video. Come on in. All right, everybody. What is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And we got some free-for-all gameplay here. Now, yesterday, or two days ago, whenever I got this gameplay, when I hopped on, I was like, let me continue my Dark Matter grind. And playing with this Pharaoh here, I just got it gold. And let me play some filthy casual games of free-for-all in my favorite Call of Duty game, Black Ops 3. The only problem is the lobbies, the filthy casual lobbies that I so adore. Look at where this guy come from. Oh, my God. Bring back boots on the ground. Bring back boots on the ground, please. I hate that shit. Dude's falling out of trees shooting me. Are you kidding me? So, anyway. I was like, man, this ain't filthy casual. This is just filthy. What happened to my free-for-all games? What happened to these lobbies? It's Sledgehammer game. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> Did Treyarch turn skill-based matchmaking on or something? No. It's These lobbies are super sweaty because there is a total victory contract where you got to get 100 wins. And when you do get the 100 wins, you get a weapon bribe. Actually, you get two bribes. Bribe to win, son. Bribe to win. You get two bribes. You get a... Melee weapon bribe that probably nobody gives a shit about. I don't even think Only Use Me Blade gives a shit about it. And what the hell was that? What what did this guy just shoot me with? What what was that? This dude running around with a SAM turret? What was that thing? Oh, you get a melee weapon bribe. And then you get a ranged weapon bribe. Something that everybody wants. That's the only way you're going to get oh, weapons in this game is bribing people. Sub to Corey, everybody. Sub to Corey. Oh, well, that's the only way you're going to get weapons in this game is with these bribes. Because I've been trying it well, with the crypto keys. Forget it, dude. Forget it. <laughs> the only time I ever got weapons in this game is if I paid for them or if I got them in a uh, bribe. And the, uh, I'm very happy that Treyarch brought this back. Because let's face it. Unless you're spending um, $300. Unless you're going broke spending all your money on uh, COD points. You're not getting no damn weapons in this game. The crypto key drop rate, complete bullshit. The odds of getting an actual weapon, complete bullshit. So you, you put both those things together, yeah, it's going to be a while before you see any nice weapons. Well, I've been lucky. I got the PPSH, and I think that's the only good supply drop weapon I've gotten. The MP40, I'm not really feeling it. The MX Garand is okay, I guess. It's just not for me. Uh, so I'm on my grind here, people. <laughs> Calling my uh, wraith here. I want to talk about something real quick before I continue on. Oh, eat that C4 sandwich, baby! Before I talk about these sweaty-ass lobbies. Oh, and by the way, this gameplay right here is nothing compared to the gameplay that's coming up next. The sweat in the next lobby. Oh, my goodness. I think I was the only dude who didn't have a nuclear player card. And this kid, Berserker Boys, man, this dude is funny as hell. I was busting his balls in the lobby. I was like, dude, you sweaty as hell. I bet you the only gun you ever use is a VMP. And he's like, no. Some, some, oh, there he is. There's a VMP. He started off using the Razorbacks. I was busting his balls, but he started getting owned, so we made the switch. He made the switch to back to the VMP. He's all like, no, I don't always use a VMP. And sometimes I use the M8. So there. I'm like, bro. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk about something real quick. But I'm hearing rumors that in COD World War II, they are, there's going to be some extreme censorship going on, from what I understand. Now, listen, Sledgehammer Games, I thought you cared about uh, authenticity. I thought you wanted to keep it real. Now, you put the female soldiers in the game. I didn't give a shit about that. A lot of people are pissed about that, but I really don't care. Uh, Mark J plays as a female soldier all the time. If it's good enough for the man with 5,000 hands, it's good enough for me. Let's go, Jay. If it's good enough for the Mark J, then it's good enough for me, baby. And watch this do her hair, Berserker Boy. I heard the VMP, so I immediately know there's going to be someone flying through the air. And I outplay his ass. There you go. I just played the jump. Once you hear a VMP, just expect the person to be flying through the air. These VMP blast suppressor sweats, they act like the ground is coated with acid or lava. They, they're not on the ground much. But listen, man, I low-key heard that Sledgehammer Games is going to ban... Oh, my goodness, the touch of death. Oh, my goodness, that Shiva. Watch out, son. Watch out. If I knew that dude had a Shiva, I would have ran the other direction. Oh, but I heard Sledgehammer Games is going to ban that SWAT sticker. From COD World War II? That's not... What happened to the authenticity, Sledgehammer Games? You want to ban the SWAT sticker? You want to ban the Nazis from World War II? Yo, homie, didn't the Nazis start World War II? How you gonna do that shit? How are you gonna ban 
the Nazis from World War II, man. This would be an impressive feat if they could actually pull this off. Berserker boy. Tell me how my ass tastes. Oh, wait a minute. I got to keep it family friendly. Never mind. Berserker boy, I got you, son. I got you. With this ass pharaoh. I hate this gun, man. I really do not like this gun. As you can see, I'm using it with long barrel, rapid fire, and elo. I re really don't like this pharaoh. It's probably my least favorite SMG. I'm happy I got it gold. That's probably the only gold pharaoh gameplay you'll ever see from me. Probably the last pharaoh gameplay you'll ever see from me. And, yeah, do that backflip, homie. Do that backflip. Go take a shower, you sweaty ass. Good game, Berserker boy. Yeah, do another one. He's, see, he's got to do two backflips. That's kind of try hard this kid is. He's got to do two backflips. Go get your VMP and your MA. Get the hell out of my lobby, son. All right, now, now listen. This lobby right here, oh, my goodness. The sweat. The sweat in this lobby. Wait until you see this shit. <laughs> Everyone's sweating hard for that one. I can't even blame him. Everybody wants that total victory contract. These kids aren't dumb. They're going to go out and spend uh, their life savings on COD points. So they're grinding for that 100 wins. So they could get themselves, uh, you know, a weapon. Maybe a f uh, FFR. Maybe a Peacekeeper. Uh, you know, there's a lot of cool-ass weapons in this game. The AK-74U they just put in here. There's a lot of cool weapons in this game. But they're all locked up in the supply drops. And with that crypto key drop rate, mm, you're probably not going to get one. <laughs> you're probably not. That's what makes these bribes so great, dude. You're guaranteed a weapon. Now, does anyone know if you get a different weapon or they're going to give you one that you already have? I'll tell you guys something right now, man. Oh, my goodness. What's the Look at this. Oh, my. Come on, son. Who is that? Is that Lost Souls? Is that you? Yo, if, you, if I go through this 100-win sweat fest and they give me, like, a gun I already have, imagine if I go through this whole 100-win sweat fest and they give me a, the MX Garand again. The game I already paid $20. Look at this dude. This dude got his 2v2 record in his player card with a nuke player card. I mean, how sweaty. Another guy with a nuke player card. What the hell? Yo, anyone who puts their 2v2 uh, win-loss record in their player card with a nuke player card next to it, you just know. Okay? <laughs> you just know. That dude probably got optic posters all over his bedroom wall. Guaranteed. That dude's probably wearing a, a Nate Shot t-shirt right now. Guaranteed. Probably just got done chugging a 40 ounce of Gamma Labs, too. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? Look at this. Look at this. Blast suppressor, afterburner, dark matter. That's all you see in these lobbies, homie. Afterburner, blast suppressor, dark matter. I'm telling you guys, it's sweaty out here. It's so sweaty. Oh, my God. Another nuke player car. But anyway, listen. Sledgehammer. Are you guys Sledgehammer Games? Are you guys SHG? Or SJW, you can't ban the SWAT sticker from a COD World War II game, man. That's ridiculous. Get back on this, fellas. The political correctness that's going on in this. Look how ass the Pharaoh is. Look how ass the Pharaoh. How many bursts I got to put in this? Oh, my goodness. But get back on this whole thing. And I'm just doomed right here. Look at this. These sweats, as soon as you spawn, they're just ready to spawn rape you. I'm, I'm, look at this. I, I didn't stand a chance. Forget it. Oh, that's another pay-to-win weapon right there. That Basilic. I want that shit. That thing looks pretty good. Uh, Sledgehammer. So if the Nazis didn't start World War II, who the hell did? Sit down, Fuzz Nuts. Uh, Fuzz Nuts got raps? What the hell? Oh, my goodness. How'd Fuzz Nuts get raps? Oh, my God, dude. These lobbies are AIDS. I'm telling you. Some dudes are getting raps on your boy. He must have got him on the supply drop. Another dude with dark matter flying through the air. <laughs> so, Sledgehammer, man, let me ask you this. If the Nazis didn't stop World War II, then who did? The Care Bears? I mean, how politically correct are we going to get here? I mean, how, you can't censor history, man. You got to keep it real, Sledgehammer. Listen, uh, I know Germany wants to act. Like, I know Germany is embarrassed of this cat, Hitler. I know they're extremely embarrassed of him. They want to pretend this dude never existed. He gives every German a bad name. But the rest of the world doesn't really give a shit about that. The rest of the world does not want history censored, man. Listen, if you're going to censor the game, if you're going to censor the hell out of this game because you're worried about... Oh, fuzz nuts. Oh, fuzz nuts. Eat that, eat that C4, baby. Serving up them hot, fresh sandwiches, so son. Good and tasty. So listen, Sledgehammer. If I could stay on topic here. Sledgehammer, listen, man. Do not completely censor this game. If you have to be politically correct and have to include a social justice warrior mode, then have a real man mode. Where the game is historically accurate, you know what I mean? Look at these emo serifs, dude. Oh, why do all these sweats like playing as emo serifs? Why? 
I just don't get it, man. I really don't. Oh, my C4. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Try hard alert. Try hard alert. Gold hero armor, dark matter, and kinetic armor. Try hard alert. Oh, my God. I cannot wait until this total victory contract is over. Where's my noobs? Bring my noobs back, man. <laughs> I miss the noobs so much. Eat another C4 fuzz nuts. That shit must be good. He's coming back for seconds. So, listen. Sledgehammer. Have a gore mode and, you know, a regular mode and then a social justice politically correct mode. Listen, Sledgehammer, you can try and uh, edit and censor the game all you want, man. It's only a matter of time before the hackers and the modders put SWAT stickers in the game any damn way. You're not going to keep the SWAT stickers out of... I, I still don't understand how you keep the Nazis out of World War II. These are the people responsible for World War II, man. So how you going to go keep them out of it? What kind of game is this? I don't know, guy. I mean, this is Sledgehammer we're talking about here, fellas. So who knows? Who knows what's going on? Uh, maybe the SWAT stickers will be in the supply drops like everything else. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And look at this right here. Look at this. Now, as soon as I heard this guy had a scythe, I should have got the hell out of the window. Oh, my. Damn, Fuzznuts got me. <laughs> Fuzznuts. <laughs> I love it, man. Some funny ass shit. So, oh, damn. Another L. Tell you guys what, man. My KD's taking a beating during this Total Sweat Fest contract. Don't even call it Total Victory, Treyarch. Just call it Total Sweat, because that's what it does. When you dangle these pay-to-win weapons in front of these kids and, ma and make them... Yo, if you get wins, you could get it. It's just turn... Which is the way it should be, to be honest. I mean, th there should be a Total Victory contract going on all the time. That would be great. Like, as soon as you complete the Total Victory, you should be able to just recycle it and keep getting it over and over again. And you should be able to pick the weapon you get, too. I swear to God. If I go through this sweat fest... Ooh. If I go through this sweat fest, man, oh, my God. And I get the same weapon that I already had, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed. So, anyway, guys, 100 win total sweat fest contract. And look at this sweaty. Come on in. Oh, come on, son. Hero armor with a dark matter VMP. That's just all you see in these lobbies, bro. That's all you see. What a sweat fest. So anyway, guys, what do you think about this total victory 100 win contract? What weapon are you hoping to get? Me, I want that 74U. Number one weapon I want, that supply drop. And what do you think about Sledgehammer trying to remove Nazis from World War II? Is that even possible? Drop down in the comment section. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good shit. And I'll see you on the next one.